Dear learners, welcome to our lecture on the 25 defining moments in the history of social work education. You can read this topic in www.socialworking.com. In this lecture we'll explore how social work education has evolved over the past two centuries, shaped by societal changes, scientific advancements, and shifts in social policy. Our journey begins in 1797 with the establishment of the Hamburg Society for the Improvement of the Poor in Germany. This early charitable organization laid the groundwork for systematic approaches to addressing poverty and social issues, marking the beginning of organized social welfare efforts. Moving forward to 1869, we see the creation of the Charity Organization Society, or COS, in London. The COS introduced a more organized approach to social welfare, emphasizing investigation and coordination of charitable efforts. This marked a shift from haphazard charity to a more structured system of aid. A significant milestone occurred in 1877 with the opening of the New York School of Philanthropy, later renamed the Columbia University School of Social Work. This was the first institution to offer formal training in social work, setting the stage for professional education in the field. In 1898, W.E.B. Du Bois published The Philadelphia Negro, a groundbreaking sociological study that highlighted the importance of research in understanding and addressing social issues. This work emphasized the need for evidence-based approaches in social work. The Flexner Report of 1915 was a crucial moment in the professionalization of social work. Abraham Flexner's critique of social work as lacking a scientific base spurred efforts to establish social work as a legitimate profession with a distinct body of knowledge and skills. Two years later, in 1917, Mary Richmond published Social Diagnosis, a seminal work that established a theoretical framework for social casework. This book greatly influenced curriculum development in social work education, providing a structured approach to practice. The founding of the American Association of Schools of Social Work in 1919 was another pivotal moment. This organization set standards for social work education and accreditation in the United States ensuring a level of consistency and quality across programs. In the 1930, we see the influence of psychoanalytic theory on social work. Freudian concepts began to shape social work practice and education, emphasizing individual psychology and introducing new therapeutic techniques. The passage of the Social Security Act in 1935 was a landmark moment not just for social policy but for social work education as well. This legislation expanded the role of social workers and influenced educational curricula to include policy studies, recognizing the importance of understanding and navigating social welfare systems. In 1952, the Council on Social Work Education, CSWE, was formed through the merger of existing organizations. This created a unified body to oversee social work education standards, bringing greater coherence to the field. The establishment of the National Association of Social Workers, NASW, in 1955 further solidified the professional identity of social work. This organization influenced educational standards and ethics in the field, providing a collective voice for social workers. The 1960s brought the civil rights movement, which had a profound impact on social work education. There was an increased focus on issues of social justice, diversity, and cultural competence, reshaping curricula to address these crucial societal issues. In 1970, the publication of The Strengths Perspective in Social Work Practice by Dennis Salibe marked a shift in approach. This perspective moved away from focusing on client deficits to emphasizing their strengths, influencing how social workers were taught to engage with clients. 1974 saw the introduction of competency-based education by the CSWE. 
This approach emphasized specific skills and knowledge that social work graduates should possess, shaping curriculum design and assessment methods. The 1980s witnessed the rise of evidence-based practice in social work. This growing emphasis on research-supported interventions influenced both social work education and practice, stressing the importance of using scientific evidence to inform decision-making. In 1992, the CSWE mandated content on diversity and populations at risk in social work curricula. This requirement formalized the inclusion of diversity issues in social work education, recognizing the importance of cultural competence in practice. 1995 marked the introduction of distance learning in social work education. Online and hybrid programs began to emerge, increasing access to social work education and paving the way for more flexible learning options. The 9-11 terrorist attacks in 2001 lead to an increased focus on crisis intervention and disaster response in social work education. This tragic event highlighted the need for social workers to be prepared for large-scale crises and their aftermath. In 2008, the CSWE adopted new educational policy and accreditation standards. These standards emphasized outcomes-based education and specific practice behaviors, further refining the competency-based approach. The Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act of 2010 expanded roles for social workers in healthcare settings. This influenced educational focus on integrated care and the social determinants of health. 2012 saw the launch of the Grand Challenges for Social Work Initiative. This collaborative effort identified key societal issues, shaping research and education priorities in the field. In 2015, the CSWE revised its accreditation standards, emphasizing competency-based education and assessment. These revisions aimed to ensure that social work graduates were well prepared for the challenges of contemporary practice. 2016 saw increased alignment of social work education with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. This reflected a growing recognition of the global nature of social issues and the need for international cooperation. The COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 accelerated the adoption of telehealth and remote learning in social work education. It also highlighted the crucial role of social workers in times of public health crisis. Finally, 2021 brought a racial reckoning and renewed focus on social justice movements. This prompted curricular changes and self-examination within social work education, emphasizing the profession's commitment to addressing systemic racism and social inequities. These 25 defining moments illustrate the dynamic nature of social work education. From its charitable roots to its current status as a rigorous, research-informed profession, social work education has continuously evolved to meet societal needs and challenges. As we move forward, it's clear that social work education will continue to adapt, always striving to prepare compassionate, skilled practitioners to address the complex social issues of our time. Thank you for listening to this overview of the history of social work education. Remember, understanding our history helps us shape a better future for the profession and those we serve.